friends whether you are a professional a gamer a youtuber or maybe a presenter you at some point might need to record your screen and also do voice over so how to do it the best on the Filmora video editor there are some nice professional tools with which you can do it quite easily so let me show you how to do that the first thing I would suggest you to hide the taskbar if you don't need to include that in the recording. So go to the taskbar behavior and automatically hide the taskbar. You get more screen space and also not distracting the original recording. Now let me show you how to record your screen with the Filmora video editor. You can record a webcam footage, record PC screen or record just a voice over. You can record a custom area, a target window or the full screen and make sure you check the settings. The frame rate can be selected from 15 to 60 fps. For smoother recording you can go for higher frame rates. You can hide the mouse gesture that is for example you are recording a video then you can hide the mouse pointer and also you can mute the mouse click sound. Enable GPU acceleration for better performance. If you are using an external microphone, make sure you switch to that microphone or you can use the inbuilt mic Hi. of your Hello. laptop maybe Hi. and make sure the mic is working. If you don't want to record voice, you can also mute it. And most important thing is with Filmora 13, you get camera recording in the screen recorder so you can include yourself and of course you can use external professional cameras for better video quality. The resolution and the camera shape can be changed here and also you can flip the orientation so that you can face the rest of the screen depending on where you put the webcam feed. Of course you can turn off the camera, speaker, microphone. When all set start recording the PC screen. When you are done you can stop or pause the recording from here. Once you stop recording the recorded footage will be added to the media tab of your Filmora editor. Next, let's talk about voice recording which can be done from this icon here. There is a countdown timer you can set, you can mute the project as well if you are using a speaker and the device should be the external microphone if you are using one or the internal mic you have on your system. It's highly recommended to use hey, an external guys? microphone for noise-free recording. So Once you stop the recording, recording it here. will be added to the timeline automatically. There are some AI-powered denoise tools you have in the Filmora video editor. So go to the audio tab and scroll down to denoise to remove any kind of noise from your ambience. You have AI speech enhancement to enhance the speech or voice in your videos. You get wind removal, normal denoise. You can also remove other noise from reverb, hum or hiss. A background music can suppress any kind of noise and also can make your voiceover and screen recording more interesting so you can try music and sound effects. Nice. The sound effects are nicely categorized on the left column. With the Filmora 13 you can take the help of AI music to generate music which is royalty free so you can go for different moods themes music duration and also the number of music to be generated there are numerous stock music to choose from as well Last thing I want to talk about is audio docking. So drag and drop the background music to your voiceover and then double click, go to the audio tab, look for the option audio docking, set the percentage. So what it does is it will dock the audio that is minimize the volume when there is voice and in between your sentences or if there is a big pause, the music will go up. So guys, that's all in this video. I hope that it was useful. Check the description to download Filmora Video Editor.